Hey everyone, thanks for joining us today. Uh, we've got an action-packed hour for you. My name is Nick Cavalancia. I'm the VP of Windows Management at ScriptLogic. Uh, I am joined today by my esteemed colleague, Jeremy Moskowitz. He's a Group Policy MVP. You might know him from gpanswers.com. We're going to talk to him a little bit today. And uh, also I'm joined by my other esteemed colleague, Carolyn McHale. She works here at ScriptLogic with me. She's a Director of Product Development. Guys, go ahead and say hello real quick. Who goes first? Uh, I guess you do, because you just did. <laughs> hey, gang. How's it going, everyone? And then, so we're, today we're going to talk about active directories and, and group policy, just kind of talk about um, some of the pitfalls that come into play. And as, as Jeremy and I kind of came up with the title here, it's all great until it isn't. So just real quick, let me first tell you about our guest speaker, Jeremy. Again, group policy MVP. You can find him at gpanswers.com. Um, it basically, it, it's a very useful site covering uh, mostly about group policies, a lot about Active Directory as well. Um, Jeremy also has a, a number of books out. He also speaks and then does training on group policies. We'll be giving you some links at the end of the presentation on how to get a, a hold of him. Uh, and so let's just talk real quick about who Script Logic is and then I'm going to jump into an agenda um, for the presentation. So as you can see on the slides here, we've been around for about nine years, for those of you that don't know us very well. We focus on three areas of Windows management, desktops, servers, and Active Directory. I always like to put it this way. I like to say we focus on that which is consistent throughout every Windows environment. Everyone has desktops, everyone has Active Directory, everyone has Windows servers. Um, and just on a, a quick sort of tangent there, um, the, the server term has expanded over the years. It used to just be Windows Server, so we only did sort of file and print and that sort of thing. And in recent years, we've expanded that to be including SharePoint, SQL, and Exchange. We have products that, that seek to centralize, automate, and simplify what you all do on a daily basis. Um, we do have actually, the, the number here in the slide is a little bit off. We are actually have more than 27,000 now customers worldwide. Um, we do focus on the SMB all the way up to the Fortune 100. Our, our smallest customer has about 10 seats and our largest has about 110,000. Um, and we have well over 6 million desktops and uh, somewhere upwards in the neighborhood of uh, 170,000 servers under management. And as you can see from the, the pretty graphic there, I actually don't think that's a graphic next to our office, but it does look something like that on most days. Um, sunny Boca Raton, Florida is where we're headquartered. And if you, if you weren't aware, we were acquired recently by Quest Software two years ago. We're now a wholly owned subsidiary of Quest. Uh, what that means is we uh, still great, uh, create great software, support great software, sell great software, um, all within our walls. Um, but we are basically now a member of a family which represents the single largest Microsoft ISV in the world. So um, let's talk about um, the Active Directory challenge here. Um, and this kind of sets the tone for what we're going to talk about. And then I'm going to kind of hand it over to Jeremy a little bit as we go through some of these topics. Um, when you're dealing with Active Directory, each of you on a daily basis have uh, a couple of disasters that you want to prevent. And you can see some of those bullets there. Accidentally deleting uh, group policies as an example. Um, inappropriate changes being made, whether it's by you or someone else. And what steps can we take there to try and uh, avoid that. And then even just trying to make sure that the um, impact of an inappropriate change or an accidental deletion or whatever the case is, is minimized as much as is possible. And um, you know, some other aspects of Active Directory management that come into play would be backup and restore. It applies to group policies, also applies to Active Directory. Security management, again, applies to group policies, but also applies to the rest of Active Directory. And then even auditing, auditing the changes that occur, again, the group policies and all of Active Directory. So our goal today is to kind of talk about all of these aspects of Active Directory and trying to avoid that sort of um, using, going back to the title of the presentation, that it's all great until it isn't. We're trying to avoid the until it isn't part. And we want to do this by first discussing what's free, what you can do with native Microsoft solutions that didn't cost you anything. Um, and then just briefly sort of tell you what Script Logic offers as well with um, our solutions. So, um, uh, in, in, in as part of our solutions, just real quickly, what we're going to do is we're going to end up covering one solution of ours, Active Administrator, as sort of a, uh, a tit for tat, if you will. Jeremy's going to cover a lot of the free stuff, and then I'm just going to kind of show you briefly with Carolyn some of the Active Administrator feature sets. And it covers four key areas, that three of which we'll really touch on today. But group policy management, beyond that of GPMC. Security delegations, beyond that of like uh, um, Active Directory users and computers and that sort of thing. Uh, does auditing of Active Directory and then Active Directory backup and restore. I just want to just real quickly kind of mention that. So, um, Jeremy, why don't we start here and just talk about the four areas that you're going to address and we'll kind of walk through the whole thing. Yeah, that sounds good. So, from my perspective, I think the things that we need to be, you know, conscious and 
conscientious of as, as administrators are, you know, let's not stick our foot in the works. Let's make sure that if, if, there's, if there's anything we can do to sort of make sure that if there's a problem, we can recover quickly from it. That's kind of like my goal for today, give you kind of some quick hit, quick wins, so that way you can consider what your overall battle plan is going to be uh, for backup and recovery. So we're gonna, I'm going to talk about all the stuff that's in the box, and there's probably some stuff that's you know beyond what I'm going to talk about, but these are the things that I thought were interesting. And one of the things we're going to talk about first is just simple, 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 establishing um, OUs and then GPO permissions upon them, uh, managing the group policy changes, so what happens if... Uh, you know, we change the GPO, how can you recover from that? Uh, minimizing the GPO impact, some, some little base hits to make sure that uh, all goes well as you're doing your testing. And then the all-important backup and restore of group policy objects. Again, there's actually a lot of ways you can do this. I'm going to cover a bunch of different ways, and maybe one of them is right for you. So with that in mind, let's just go on to uh, my first slide here.